Wonderful Indonesia is the slogan the government uses to attract tourists. But in the rainy season, these beaches in Bali don't look anything like the brochures. And plastic waste doesn't just litter the surface. A research team from Australia and Indonesia found that plastics have become a serious hazard for manta rays. These giant, friendly fish are protected in Indonesia. The government has realized that a living manta can generate tourist revenues of around $2 million a year. Where once it was poachers, now waste plastic is their enemy. I've been counting plastics in manta ray feeding grounds, and so far our pilot study is indicating that we're looking at potentially 40 to 90 pieces of plastic being ingested per hour by the filter feeding animals. It's an extraordinary experience for tourists swimming with manta rays, but with plastic waste increasingly ending up in the ocean, Indonesia doesn't only risk losing its tourist attractions, but also inflicts permanent damage to its marine life. The researchers found that more than 90% of this plastic waste comes from Indonesia. Due to a lack of public awareness and failing waste management policies, 40% of the country's plastic garbage ends up in rivers and then the ocean. These large pieces of plastic disintegrate into many smaller parts. These small parts which we call microplastics are very dangerous because if these microplastics are eaten by fish and we eat this fish, this is very dangerous for people too. In an effort to prevent pollution, Bali will ban all plastic bags from 2018. That's a victory for these girls who campaigned for such a ban for two years. There will be more plastic than fish in the oceans by 2050 if we don't do something now. And so I think it really it turns something on inside of us saying, OK, what are we going to do about it? What's someone going to do about it? So as the younger generation, we don't want to wait until we're older to make a difference. We're going to act now. Melati and Isabel have visited schools and shops to teach Indonesians about the impact of littering and plastic waste hoping that their example will be followed. But Indonesia's government has yet to start a nationwide campaign to educate the wider public. So manta rays and other fish continue to ingest plastic waste every time they open their mouth. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Nusa Lembongan, Bali.